Hello, um, what I'm going to do is go over the science test review for today. And for those of you that missed out um, and were at home today, please go through this and make sure that your answers on your study guide are correct and that you're ready for the test tomorrow. Number one said, what does the electromagnetic spectrum consist of? And your answer should be that it is all of the different types. I'm having a hard time typing. The different types of electromagnetic waves. Um, and remember that those different types consist of everything from radio waves that we hear to ultraviolet rays, waves, um, gamma rays, uh, the types that we can see that are the visible light um, that are broken up into our color spectrum, which leads us to number two, what is a range of colors that is formed when white light passes through a prism that is called a spectrum. And number three, what is a light year? It is simply the light, uh, it is simply the distance that light can travel in a year. That's almost kind of a trick question, but um, it is the distance light travels in a year. After the Big Bang occurred, how do scientists believe the universe must have been? Well, it must have been very hot. And remember that the Big Bang states that everything that our Earth, that our universe consists of, was located in a tiny ball the size of a period at the end of a sentence, and then it exploded. It got so hot that it exploded. Um, number five said to describe each of the three types of galaxies and draw a picture. I'm not going to draw a picture on here, but please do refer to your foldable. Um, your foldable notebook where we did the three types. But the three types are spiral, elliptical, and irregular. A, um, a spiral galaxy is what we live in. That's what the Milky Way is. And we're located two-thirds of the way down on one of the spiral arms. They And for each of these types of galaxies, you should be able to draw them, tell me what they, what shape they would more than likely uh, be in, and then what kind of stars make up these galaxies. So spiral galaxies are pinwheel shaped. They have they contain both old and new stars. The new stars are on the arms and the old ones in the center. There's a lot more um, dust and gas in the arms of the spiral galaxies. And then in the center with the old um, with the old stars in the center, there's not as much dust and gas. It's been used up to create those old stars, and over the years, they've come together to be really close. Okay, so that's the spiral galaxy. The other galaxy that we're going to talk about next would be the elliptical galaxy. And the elliptical galaxy, they resemble a flattened ball. And 
they consist mainly of old stars. Sometimes they look as if they are one giant star. So they are flattened, a flattened ball shape, like an ellipse, just like our orbit, containing old stars that often look like one giant star because there is little dust and gas. It's been burned up. And then the last type of galaxy is an irregular galaxy. And that has no um, pattern to its shape. It consists of new stars and lots of dust and gas. Okay, what type of galaxy do we live in? I've already um, kind of hit on that. We are a spiral galaxy named the Milky Way. Describe Hubble's Law. Now Hubble's Law is really simple and we we didn't use this term a lot, um, but we talked about it. And what Hubble's Law states um, in relation to how far versus how fast a galaxy is moving is simply that the farther away something is in the universe, the faster away it's moving because the farther away it is meant that it was right at the impact of that explosion which forced it out. So once it starts moving, it continues moving. Um, so the farther away it is, the faster it's moving. Okay, so the farther away it is, the faster it's moving away from us. Then number eight says, what is the theory that astronomers have developed to describe the formation of the universe? And we know that that is the Big Bang Theory. And um, I kind of described it a little bit earlier, but um, oops, my keyboard's not working for me. The Big Bang Theory Um, states that everything began with a huge explosion of a tiny dot that contained all of the elements in the universe. Things expanded in all directions and are still expanding today. Our solar system formed from a giant cloud of dust and gas. And this was approximately 13.7 billion years ago. Now, what force pulls all gravity together, I mean, sorry, all matter together, it is gravity. And then what keeps it in motion is inertia. So the sun's gravity keeps us all in our orbit and then inertia keeps us moving forward. Um, number 11 says, why would placing a telescope on a mountaintop be a good idea? 
it's to get above part of our atmosphere. And you would be able to get a clearer view of the stars. What support did Galileo gather for the heliocentric system? That is simply that it appeared that Venus went through phases much like our moon and that Jupiter's moons revolved around Jupiter, not the Earth. Compare and contrast geocentric and heliocentric models and then draw a diagram. Again, I'm not going to draw a diagram, but please refer to your foldable notebooks where you did that. Or on page 555 and 556 of your textbook. Um, the geocentric model is simply Earth-centered. And they believe that everything revolved with everything revolving around Earth. And this originally was supported by Ptolemy and Aristotle. And then the heliocentric was sun-centered with everything revolving around the sun. And this Nicholas Copernicus originally developed this model. Then Galileo supported it 100 years later with evidence. And it was that evidence we just mentioned of Jupiter's moons revolving around Jupiter and Venus appearing to go through phases as it revolved. Who discovered the shapes of orbital paths, um, which is an ellipse? Um, that was Johannes. Kepler. And then what system did Copernicus explain through his findings? That was the heliocentric model, which again was sun-centered. What type of light do we see? Don't make this more difficult than it is. It is simply visible light. We can see it. It's visible to us. Okay, and then what type of ga a device gathers radio waves from objects in space? Remember when we talked about telescopes, there were a lot of different types of telescopes, and they were specific to the waves that they were able to detect. Radio waves are simply detected by radio telescopes. And then about how long did our universe form? We said that when we were talking about Big Bang. It was 13.7 billion years ago. What is the name of the area between the crest of one wave to the top of another? And that is called the wavelength. And last but not least, how do telescopes work? It collects and focuses different forms of electro 
magnetic radiation.